Yo, what's going on guys? So my last video, I spoke about essentially how guys come to Rio, places like Rio, and they, they just completely blow it, right? <laughs> they literally don't take advantage of being in one of the most beautiful cities on this planet. It, it just blows my mind. So I wanna give y'all a day in life, uh, a full day of what I did here in Rio. So just to give you an idea of just the amount of things you can do in one day. And one thing I can tell you guys is I've been to all the big cities, all the big popular cities globally. And I've been to Paris, I've been to Berlin, I've been to the Rome, I've been to New York City, London, uh, lived in LA. I've, I've been, I, I can't think of a big city, big popular city in this world that I haven't been to. And one thing I can tell you is that there is no comparison. There's no comparison. I have not seen or been to a city that I'm able to do as much stuff as I'm able to do here in Rio. Like every single day I was there, I just kept finding out more and more stuff to see and do. I'm like, this is insane. Like I, I would tell the people who live there, I'm like, you all are, you all don't realize how lucky you are. Like, I know when you're from a place, you really don't see uh, or you really don't take advantage of what you have. But Rio is something special. Um, I've said this multiple times, but Rio is something special. Um, so I just want to give you guys an insight of what it is like. So right now at this, this restaurant we're at, um, it was extremely good. It was right in front of um, right in front of the beach, as you could see. And it was in between Coca Cabana and Empanema. And we went here right after we went to what you saw before. It was a hike on top of the Vigigal uh, favela. And we woke up at, I think, four in the morning to get there uh, so we could uh, make it there by uh, sunrise, which I think, I can't remember, I think it's like 5.30 or something around 5.30, 5.40, 5.50, something like that. Um, uh, there in Rio and after that so we went went to do a hike then we went to eat and then we went change whatever and then we went to work out and that's the cool thing about Rio right it's this they got this outdoor fitness atmosphere so many different uh, like workout complexes outside so it's just little mini gyms outdoors on the beach. I mean, <laughs> I, I literally can't think of something better than that. Like, who doesn't want to work out on the beach? Beautiful scenery in many different ways. Like, you know what I'm talking about. There's there's beautiful scenery everywhere. So, this is something you're not going to get in London. And for the guys out there um, thinking they're big shots because they're in Miami, um, like, actually, right before I made this recording, um, I listened to a podcast and there was these guys pretty much trying to make fun of guys who travel once again, right? And they were saying, oh, we're out here in Miami pulling, whereas these other guys got to go to places like Brazil, whatever, whatever, right? And it's sad, right? It it It's sad that people are just kind of oblivious to what guys that travel are actually doing. And like I said in my last video, it's never been about the woman, right? It's about the whole package. In Miami, you don't get the whole package, right? Miami's beautiful, but guess what you get with Miami? You get a bunch of fake scam or con artists, people, like, we, the guys that travel don't want to be around that. That's why they're leaving. Because that's not what they're attracted to. It, it has nothing to do with, oh, they can't get what. That's, guys, I mean, anybody can go rent a car and get a girl in Miami. I mean, and they talk a big game. And the sad thing is they're probably poisoning other people's minds. Guys that should be traveling, experiencing the world, seeing what else is out there, becoming just a better human being. Just a more knowledgeable human being about the world. 
But no, there's people out there, once again, just focusing their energy on the women that women are getting. And telling guys, oh, we're, we're getting women in Miami, so we're big shots. This is what you should inspire to be. You should inspire to be guys like us who move to Miami to party and deal with artificial people and show themselves on social media with, with beautiful women. And, and that's what you should aspire to? Like... That's sad. That that's sad. And, and 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 this is why I want to show you guys just how beautiful this place is. I don't I'm I'm not gonna focus purely on the women. Yes, the women are absolutely beautiful, absolutely amazing, and are a huge part. But just look at this, guys. Just look at how beautiful this city is. From the food, from just just the amount of things you can do. Like, guys, within 20 minutes you have multiple beaches that are giving you different vibes in every single one you have the chill beaches you have the lively beaches you have the fitness beaches you have the beaches where you can drink you have the beaches where you could just do so many things you don't get that in miami you get in miami you get one thing you get artificialness <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what you get in Miami. Yes, I'm being hard, hard on Miami, but I literally just listened to this podcast right before making this video or this audio, so it's, it's fresh on my mind. And yes, Miami has a lot of good things about it, but it does not compare to Rio. So guys, please do not listen to people who are talking about what they're doing in places like Miami, right? That's, that's not something... I mean, you can aspire to whatever you want to aspire to, but that's not something I promote. I promote guys learning, experiencing, meeting people that are different from you because you learn. When you go to Miami and you meet these artificial people, you might learn You might learn something from them, but it probably is not a good thing what you're learning from these cats out there. So I would block that out. Block that out. When people talk bad about you, when, when you hear guys talking bad about guys that travel, honestly, these guys are probably scared to get on a plane. I don't know what it is. I think it's scared to get on a plane or whatever, but it's, it's insecurities, right? They're insecure. So they're going to talk bad about these guys that are out there living their life. Guys, if you're American, there's nothing holding you back more than Miami. We all can go to Miami. That's, that's not hard to do. But guys who travel... They're smart. They're, they're a little bit smarter. They say, why would I go spend all that money? Why would I go deal with artificial people when I can go out and learn, see, do things that I can't do back at home? So like, as you're watching this video, this is all in one day. Started off hiking at four in the morning. Then from that, went and had some delicious breakfast right in front of the beach. Then we worked out outside. And then after that, we went to Lapa, walked around for a bit. Now we're having a drink, sitting down, watching, just chilling. Like, I mean, just having a good time, people watching, talking, just enjoying ourselves. As you can see, there's nobody here driving around in Lamborghinis, trying to show off, trying to say they're better than somebody just because they rented a car. <laughs> Or just because they're so-called successful, because they are wearing Gucci flip-flops. I mean, that stuff is not what we should aspire to. I mean, I'm not going to actually, let me take that back. You can aspire to whoever you want, but that's not what makes, I think, the world great. I think what makes the world beautiful is different you just meeting different cultures mixing with different cultures trying different food like for example in this right here in this in this view or at this restaurant this meat was specifically made by cows that were massaged right they, they said the cows were massaged for i forgot how long but it's supposed to like release some type of hormones in the cows that makes the meat taste different right so these are the type of experiences you get when you travel. But we, to finish the night, we end up going to uh, a place called, a favela called Rochina. 
and this is probably the most modernized uh, uh, modernized favela to go to. Um, this is probably the one I would recommend you go to uh, while you're there. Obviously, go with somebody, be safe. Um, but it's live, guys. It's a good time. Like, you're friendly people. There's nobody out there flexing. There's people just out there having a good time. And that's what we like when we travel. Yes, there's times that you want to flex out, whatever. Okay, if you want to flex, go be like everybody else and go to Miami. But if you want to enjoy a good cultural experiences, come back a person who, come back essentially a better person, a person who knows more about the world, knows more about other cultural differences, I recommend you check out Brazil because guess what, guys? There's, there's no comparison. Um, we did all of this in one day. Name a city. Name a city where you could do this much, where you could go on a really, really nice hike. I mean, I, I've lived in LA. I've lived in LA. Yes, there's hikes in LA, but is the scenery like this? It's, 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 no, it's no comparison. There's no comparison. I, like I, and for example, like, for example, in this video, the, the lady who I was with this whole time she she's from Eastern Europe. She's not even from Brazil. She's not from Brazil. She's from Eastern Europe. But we met in Rio because she's also traveling. And that's a part of the experience too. I'm not just going to Rio to meet Brazilian women. I'm there to meet people in general. To meet people, understand other cultures. And that's what you get in places like Rio. You get people traveling from all over the world. So you're meeting people from all, I mean, I even meet people from the US and hang out with while I'm in Brazil or while I'm in other places around the world. It's not just the Brazilians. It's about connecting with people, people that you want to connect with. People in Miami, I'm sorry, I, I that's not my people. I don't, I don't need to show artificial things to say I'm successful. I don't, that's, that's not how I roll. What I, what success is to me personally is what you have in your head and what you have in your head that only grows when you go to places that are different, right? You go to multiple places that are exposing you to something you haven't seen done before if you're from the u.s if you're from anywhere in the u.s and you're going to places like like miami and you think you're somebody because of that i mean that's on you right success is is, is in the eye of the beholder right but i'm gonna i'm gonna counter that and promote guys to get out get out from the norm get out from the artificial environment and live your life to the fullest. And what that means is keep pushing yourself further and further. And yes, right now, this is Brazil. I want to show way more than Brazil. Obviously, we're very limited right now. But for Brazil is a good start. It's a good start for many guys. There's so much more to see. I mean, there's, there's so much more to see in this world. So travel is key, guys. Travel, travel, travel. Block out the Miami guys. Block out the uh, all this artificial stuff and travel as much as possible. All right, guys. Until next time, y'all take care.